God, I'm so sick of it. I work really hard. Really, really hard. But my manager keeps comparing me to other devs saying I don't push enough code. That I overestimate my tickets. That I spend too long testing my code. That he could do those tickets faster. That I don't push code every single day. That I don't write enough PRs. And that I need to stop testing my work as my metrics are poor. I really want to quit but I haven't found another job yet because of how hard I'm working for these guys. I'm really sick of being told I'm shit all the time. Without any substantial critique as to how I can do better. This shouldn't be how you manage a team. How you treat someone working hard for you. It's because I spend too long testing my code that I don't have enough bugs and therefore not enough PRs to fix them essentially. They want quantity of code over quality of code. My manager says this is normal. And because it's a startup we need to push people to work harder. Longer hours. Weekends and be available all the time. They recently put up a graph chart of our metrics and apparently I've done five commits all week so. I'm negatively impacting the company. I squash my commits when I rebase good lord. Tell me this isn't normal. Find a new job soon. This person just wants to take advantage of you. Hard work doesn't pay off if it isn't appreciated. 1. You work at a startup. 2. Any reason why you can't do what other devs are doing. Push buggy code. Commit more. Do more PRs to fix bugs. Etc. Clearly your manager only cares about quantity so just do that. Work smarter not harder. Man. You sound like a dream dev. Testing your code before production. Oh the humanity. Your manager sounds like a sloppy ass shit coder who got exposed and went the management path. I don't know what normal is nowadays. But maybe your manager is getting pressure from higher ups. Or your manager is anxious as fuck. Or they just enjoy being toxic. Etc. 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 If your manager puts you on a pip then find another job during that time. It's not worth being burnt out for. Lie and inflate the amount of work you do. Add in some bugs to fix later in additional pull requests. Don't test your code. A five minute check maybe. If they want numbers then give them numbers. If they want multiple pull requests then give them multiple pull requests. Who cares if you could have done it in one PR. Don't worry yourself over if you write shit. They're pretty much asking for it. Reminds me of the story at Apple's early days where devs were being judged by how many new lines of Code were committed. A senior dev protested this being a crazy metric because the reverse may be more favorable. Deleting lines of code. To simplify the code base can be a significant technical contribution. Dumb metrics are dumb. But they are nothing new. This is plain and simple stupid. The best outcome is where you write. Test. Deploy. And move on to the next needed thing. Spending extra time to fix errors missed during development doesn't do squat for increasing revenue. That's what your manager should be focusing on. Edit. You can also game the system easily by committing your work every couple of minutes and not squashing before merging. So your commit numbers will skyrocket. Sounds like they deserve to get what they want good and hard ha ha. It's not normal. But he is right that unit tests don't matter as much in a startup. Usually as long as it runs and doesn't completely break on edge cases. It is fine. Caring about commit number is a weird one though. Seems easy to solve. Just random commit things. You're at a startup. Your manager is an asshole. Find another job. You need to find a better company to work at.
If the quantity of code matters more than having bug-free code, then that's an unhealthy programming environment. They clearly are using shallow metrics to measure performance. That might cost them and negatively affect the efficiency and reliability of their product and business altogether. The companies I've been at granted. They are not startups. Which might be your issue have encouraged me to test code my code more and even write unit tests. You are doing overemployment on a startup. You are most likely not efficient doing multiple jobs contracts. I also find it hard to believe that your manager is basing your performance on the number of commits and pull requests. I am pretty sure there are other reasons behind it. Lastly, startup needs to close deals and get revenue fast because everyone's paycheck relies on making customers and investors happy. I am not saying don't write tests. But there are several tools out there that can at least generate a boilerplate of test code to speed up the process. Start looking for a new job. Had a similar situation with a bad manager. Moved to a much bigger company. And my life is so much less stressful. I technically do much harder work now. But it doesn't feel like it because I have time to sit and think. I love my job now. So just to say that there's hope. I really want to quit but I haven't found another job yet because of how hard I'm working for these. Guys. Welcome to any toxic work culture. Besides. What the hell are you gonna do? Try to get a job in a tough job market where you're overworked. Chances are your management knows this and they're purposely trying to see how far they can take it. I'm not trying to be a dick here. I'm just telling you that I've been there too and I learned my fucking lesson and secured laid back places before a recession hit. I'm sorry, but I suggest you start looking for a new job. This manager sounds like they're ready to pip you at any moment. Even if they're not, they're insanely toxic. Just play the game man. They want to measure you by lock. Then pad out your code. They want to measure you by hours of your bum on the seat. Then use a mouse wiggle and schedule commits to be done at 6.48 a.m. and 8.23 p.m. So in you case just do commits early and frequently. But others care on and do exactly the same as you're doing already. That alone will probably be enough to make them happy. One of your responsibility as a developer is push for good practices against the people that don't understand engineering, but that are upper in the rank. You manager seems especially shitty and it's not like you can change the way he thinks or the culture of a company, but you should still stand your ground. Pushing bad code will make you actually write bad code in the next places you will work and you will lose value ale as a developer. They recently put up a graph chart of our metrics and apparently I've done five commits all week so I'm negatively impacting the company. I squash my commits when I rebase. The manager simply has no fucking idea what they are doing. This has to be the dumbest thing I have seen lol. Don't squash. Just do it their way. If you're through an agency you can have a convo with them. Or just have a go at your boss. Say. Okay. Then do it. Of course. Be ready to be sacked. Sounds like a manager with no tech experience. He's telling you exactly what he wants. Why are you fighting it? More features. Less testing. It's not your company or your product. So why be so emotionally invested in the quality? You are a human, not a donkey. Your manager is not a good manager. He should see you are doing your best start looking for another job. So maybe stop testing your code so much. Lol I wish I could be told to test less. You work at a startup where you are expected to constantly push code. 
That's just the startup environment.